Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and today I'm going to tell you about 5G internumerology interference. So what is it 5G internumerology interference? What's the reason? Uh, what's possible solutions to mitigate such type of interference? Let's find out. As you may know, 5G and R use bandwidth part concept and uh, different subcarrier spacing in order to um, use kind of adaptation mechanism even for physical layer to support different services, uh, enhanced mobile broadband or reliable networks, industrial networks, different use cases. So the problem is the coexistence of such bandwidth parts. Uh, let's look at my example. Let's assume that we have total cell bandwidth. Yes, this is a total cell available bandwidth. Uh, this cell bandwidth uh, has two bandwidth parts. Let's uh, suppose this is a bandwidth part one with numerology one, and this is bandwidth part two with another numerology or it can be uh, the same numerology in my example it doesn't matter uh, as you can see in reality this is uh, these bandwidth parts not a rectangle yes this is not a rectangle <laughs> in reality there is an overlapping area uh, every time and the question is uh, how many uh, how many of this uh, overlapping area is because uh, the more overlapped here the more influence the more interference uh, to each other they have and this is very important especially like in my example bandwidth part uh, power can be different in time can be very uh, randomly different we don't know exactly because, um, for example, this bandwidth part in one time can use uh, for used for enhanced mobile broadband. This is for Internet of Things, and uh, the difference sometimes may be much more higher. So it means the interference, the overlapping um, area would would be different uh, would be different as well every time so it should be taken into account as well uh, what's the possible solution of course first of all um, we can consider using guard band but very large guard band uh, between bandwidth parts uh, can be not so effective uh, at least because um, such concept concept of using large uh, guard bands uh, will be a decree will decrease the spectral efficiency of the whole system yes so this is not a good idea but we can put it here the first solution is using guard band the second solution as we can see, like in my example, and in reality will be the same, uh, bandwidth part will have a different transmitted or received power. So, um, in this case, we can, uh, we can um, make smart scheduling mechanism, yes, let's put it here, smart scheduling. Uh, in order to, in a very smart way, allocate power and resources for different bandwidth parts. In order to uh, the learn, for example, we can use uh, deep learning techniques to learn affected areas. Yes, and uh, from that knowledge, uh, understand how we can allocate power and resources. So this is one of the possible solution. And the third possible solution is window in. Window in. 
filtering is to use more uh, precise uh, filtering techniques in order to uh, avoid large overlapping areas here in order to avoid interference so additional sub filters can be applied as a solution um, and of course in addition to that uh, radio engineers uh, radio designers they should take into account frequency and time synchronization requirements because uh, if we were talking about that problem in 5G, uh, synchronization will be also very useful, let's say so. So synchronization should be taken. Yeah. Synchronization. So that was uh, my very short video, very short overview of such potential problem in 5G. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel because uh, very soon I will make more videos about 5G and R, about digital economy and other interesting things.